And uh, this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program, or network, whichever one you wish to call it. We're on the air from now until 5 Eastern Daylight Time, and we are uh, recording. So if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, you'll give us a shout, and we'll uh, be recording it and then uh, post it up on YouTube uh, in a couple of days. So you'll be able to go there and uh, do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And on that page, uh, gosh, uh, hopefully on the front page, we'll have uh, this uh, edition of uh, QSO Vlog, which will be entitled My Group Air Check 42619. Hopefully, with any luck at all, that 41619 will be uh, today's date. Uh, so you'll be looking for My Group Air Check 426. Uh, 19. And uh, right now uh, we're going to check in with uh, Charlie uh, up towards the uh, Canadian border there, K1GZL. Uh, Charlie, you got a copy? K1GZL, uh, Charlie, you got a copy? No, oh, yeah. Uh, you're running S9, S9 direct uh, from your uh, QT8. I would imagine if I had an SDR uh, going, it would be better. Yeah, it's a rainy day, rain off and on, nothing really heavy, just rainy. Uh, temperatures way up in the low 40s, low 40s. Two days ago we hit 71. That's out in deep frustration. I wonder which SDR you're copying me better on. KC9BKB, K1GZL. Roger, Roger. Well, I haven't really had a chance uh, to run them all. I kind of hanging by the seat of my pants as as normal. Uh, but uh, right, the last one was uh, Rochester, New York, and it sounded pretty good. And uh, then uh, when you come back this time, uh, I'm running uh, four SDRs uh, this time, uh, two uh, 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 notepads there, and uh, two uh, PCs. So running uh, four SDRs uh, plus my uh, local antenna. So Charlie, uh, come back and I'll run the uh, SDRs and see which one is better. Roger, Roger. Run the uh, SDRs and see which one is better. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Looks like uh, Rochester's got it uh, this afternoon for the moment. You know, it's amazing how things uh, uh, shift around. Uh, you can't just pick out one SDR and say that's it because uh, in uh, 15, 10, 15 minutes, it will have shifted uh, to a better, uh, to another SDR with a better signal. Roger, Roger. To another SDR with a better signal. Roger, Roger. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the way it goes. That's called propagation propagational uh, changes and boy when we get propagational changes we have to uh, we have to go uh, we have to go uh, with it uh, Jim uh, but your good copy direct there is a lot of Queen Roger Nancy a lot of static uh, but uh, we're probably bouncing two or three times just to get out to you uh, as a first bounce uh, probably in southern New York State and uh, you know and out from Rochester on out but if you were listening much closer than Rochester, I would be skipping right over, uh, skipping uh, right over. So, uh, these are uh, in summer conditions, go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie. I, do you know uh, what the distance of the bounces are? Are they all the same uh, uh, spacing as far as mileage is concerned? It's a very hard to say on the spacing of the bounces. Uh, they should be uh, fairly uniform. Uh, for instance, uh, if you're on 20 meters and you're going from the east coast to the west coast, uh, 
uh, uh, to get the absolute maximum out there, I think the double bounce is the best on 20. Uh, in other words, out into Iowa from here, and then the second bounce into Los Angeles or San, uh, San Francisco. Uh, however, uh, uh, on this band, you get a little bit more high angle, and in the early evening, or at the right time of the evening, probably three or four bounces of about uh, 700 miles apiece uh, seems to work, uh, uh, seems to work uh, better seems to work better, but on long haul, long haul, like from here to Australia, uh, I've come to the uh, conclusion, uh, Jim, that uh, between 10 and 15 degrees above the horizon would be the best uh, propagation. Uh, some argue that uh, a lower angle is better. It might be at times, uh, but whatever the band wants to handle, like 80 meters, 75, 80 meters, uh, if, uh, for instance, uh, you're working uh, into, uh, say, York. Many, many times, and the band is handling the higher angles more so than lower. So uh, you might be bouncing uh, six times to England. Uh, six times to get into England. Uh, or, or five times, but 800 miles skips between them. They do a very, they do vary. Of course, the height of the ionosphere yeah, is important, uh, Jim. Uh, okay. Uh, Roger that, Roger that. And uh, that uh, mileage uh, between skips uh, uh, varies by the frequency also? Uh, varies by the frequency also? Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, uh, gosh, our conditions just uh, shifted around, uh, and I uh, couldn't find any good SDR that time. I even uh, tried uh, Ontario. Uh, I thought uh, that uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, might be a possibility, but uh, even that was closed. So <laughs> 40 strikes again, Roger. 40 strikes again, Roger. Okay, uh, were you able to pick up my last transmission? Uh, most of it, most of it, but uh, it was, uh, it did have some holes uh, because of uh, fades, Roger. It had some holes uh, because of uh, fades, Roger. Okay, now uh, you're solid, uh, you're solid directly from the Louisville area. Running out of there, you're a... You're absolutely too fine. Uh, direct, uh, direct on a damaged antenna here. Oh, I hope I can get this fixed soon. So look, Jim, I'll let you carry on with other states, and I can hear a couple in the background trying to break in there. So uh, I'll say the very best, and hopefully catch you next Friday. Now, there may be a couple of weeks or more that I'm off, that I'm off because of uh, the antenna uh, repairing the client. Let's put it that way. But it's always good to hear you, Jim. Uh, KC9VKV, K1GZL. 
Roger, Roger, Charlie. Okay, sir. Thanks uh, for contributing, and uh, uh, we will uh, be talking with you, uh, all things equal, uh, maybe next week. It just depends on the uh, the situation. Uh, we uh, say threes up that way. You have a real good uh, afternoon and a great weekend, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be getting some good weather uh, coming along, uh, consistently good weather, which, that you might be able to uh, uh, be uh, good at uh, getting that antenna back in shape uh, you get the right uh, sledgehammer <laughs> and uh, kind of force it into uh, correct uh, direction so threes for now charlie and uh, we'll catch you uh, next week uh, this is uh, kc9 vkv the qso vlog network from now until five we're recording live so if you have a radio you want to check out uh, give us a shout uh, kc9 vkv give us a shout uh, kc9 vkv Yeah, and we just ran. Uh, actually, uh, we only have three SDRs. I thought we were going to have four, but uh, something has uh, gone astray with uh, number four, which is in the uh, in the reach far reaches of the house uh, in the bedroom. And uh, we did have it uh, on. Uh, uh, gosh, I guess it was Arlington, uh, Virginia, on that uh, uh, PC. And then we have a PC in uh, in the uh, shack that uh, we have on. Uh, uh, Milford, uh, PA, and then uh, we have Rochester and uh, Raleigh, So, and then our local antenna. So we have a, a bunch of listening uh, posts to try to catch your best uh, signal. Yeah, so if you have a radio you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. This is KC9 VKV. Victor, Echo 3, Mike, Echo, uniform. Echo 3 station, uh, come again. Roger, Roger, and what's the name? Hey, here's Mike. Uh, we've spoken uh, a few times before, KC9, uh, VKV from Victor Echo 3, Mike Echo Uniform, Mike in Ontario, Canada. Uh, Roger, Roger, Mike. Uh, what's going on up that way? I thought we were running a new, uh, well, uh, a new old microphone, uh, if you will. Ah, well, it sounds pretty good. Let me, let me hear it, sir. Roger, Roger, sounds good. Uh, uh, limited low end, uh, great mid range, uh, good uh, uh, enunciation up at the top, uh, the dynamic range uh, running about uh, two and a half dB, so it looks good. Fantastic, well, I appreciate the report once again, and uh, we will keep us those. Uh, I enjoy listening along as well. I'd like to get back to it. KC9 VKV from Victor Echo 3, Mike Echo Uniform, Mike and Ontario K9. I found you, and all the best to you. Roger, Roger, Mike. Thanks for checking in, sir. It's good sound and radio. Uh, three is that way, and we'll catch you uh, next weekend, if you get uh, next Friday, if you get a chance. We're on the air between uh, 3.30 and 5 Eastern Daylight Time. I must dis make that distinction because we were Eastern Standard Time, but in the last uh, few weeks we have uh, changed over, and we're, I guess, now on Eastern Daylight Time for whatever that uh, that entails. <laughs> I, I can't keep up. I can't even keep keep up with the regular time, you know, let alone time shifts. But anyway, uh, this is the uh, KC9 VKV QSO Vlog uh, Network. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. KC9 VKV. I did uh, hear one station uh, on my local antenna. Uh, station, uh, come back and try it again with your call sign, please. Slowly, phonetically. Uh, sir, you're about a dB and a half above my noise level. Barely are above my noise level, and I could not pull you, uh, pull you out. Uh, you might try coming just up on that mic and uh, saying, uh, you know, precisely the call sign, uh, and we'll just uh, not look at the uh, ALC. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, sir, I can hear you in there barely, but I can't make out what you're saying. So maybe uh, conditions might get uh, better a little bit later on. But uh, right now, uh, I'll have to say threes, and uh, uh, we'll try it again uh, you know, when conditions get a, a little bit better. Uh, I was uh, copying you uh, mainly on my uh, local antenna, uh, not much on the Rochester, Raleigh, Milford, or uh, Arlington um, uh, SDRs. So this is a KC9 VKV. Again, if uh, one might have a radio they want to hear, check the audio on. Uh, we are recording between now and 5, so give us a shout. This is KC9 VKV. Kilo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Go ahead. Roger, Alpha Kilo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Uh, name's uh, Randall. I'm in Clark County, Alabama, about 90 miles north of Mobile. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Come uh, smoke in this way. I'm copying you mostly on my uh, my uh, local antenna, Roger. Uh, and that's around Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, I'm just on a G5 RV. Uh, got an ICOM 7300 with a hand mic. Uh, never really have got an audio check, but I'd love to know what I sound like on the other end. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, very loud. Uh, I think you might be overdriving your ALC. Uh, do you know how to uh, get to your ALC? I turn my compression down a little bit. Does that sound better? Uh, I think it's a, if you, you know, just tap on your meter, I think that'll take you to your ALC. Roger, stand by just a second, let me see it. Uh, that's a 7300. Is just an outstanding radio. Uh, uh, I would, <laughs> I would say you were probably about three inches into the red on your ALC, but I'm, I could be wrong. Yeah, Roger. I'm a. Uh, it's going to a nine on my ALC, but um, how would I turn that down? That's controlled by your mic level. You uh, put your uh, meter in the ALC mode, and then uh, the, what I would suggest is put your, your compressor on a 3, uh, put your compressor on a 3, and then go to your ALC, and with your other hand on the uh, mic gain control, and uh, turn the mic gain control until your ALC is showing uh, half scale, uh, mid scale to two thirds, mid scale to two thirds on the ALC, Roger. Compressors turned down to about a five. What does that sound like? Too much. Listen to what I'm telling you. You want to put your compressor on a three, and then you want to uh, uh, get your mic in and uh, bring it down. To, it's probably going to be around 50 or so, but you'll be looking at your ALC meter, and you want your ALC meter to be deflecting at about 50% to two thirds, and that's controlled by your mic gain control. Roger, I'm at 50%. Mic gain right now, 3% on compressor, and it's about two-thirds. It's, it looks uh, better than what it did. Roger, Roger. Now, what mic are you using? It's just the stock mic for the 7300, the hand mic. Roger. I would put that, uh, I would go to your tone control, EQ control, and I would put that at about a plus a three on uh, your top end, about a plus three on your top end, and uh, we'll start with flat on your bottom end, and uh, one other thing, you want to be in the widest possible mode. You want to be in the 100 to 2900 uh, mode, Roger. Roger that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. You got a minute to hang out? Uh, Roger. Well, I think you can find the mode uh, right uh, with your uh, your compressor. There's a there's a mode select there, I believe. And uh, like I say, what you want to be is uh, in the widest mode possible for that 7300, which is 100 to 2900. Roger that. I'm gonna uh, work on that for just a second. I think I can find it real quick. This thing's got a lot of bells and whistles. <laughs> Oh, Roger, Roger. Yes, uh, I know that. Uh, I'm just dealing pretty much with the transmitter, so I'm, I'm not uh, faced with all that other receive stuff. I don't, I don't get to uh, to enjoy that. Uh, I just uh, uh, love setting up the 7300s because they're such an ideal radio. Uh, they have uh, such a nice limiter.
And like I say, you can push that limiter, you could push that limiter right up to the red and it will still sound pretty clean. But uh, like anything, if you, uh, the, um, the ALC is a, is a, shows the output of the limiter, and the limiter varies uh, between that and a compressor, and that uh, limiter has an extremely fast attack and release time, a very fast attack and release time, as opposed to a compressor, which is a slower attack and slower release. So with a compressor, you could probably get away with 20 dB compression. You could be sucking up the cows from the east 40, mooing if you wanted to with a compressor, but on a limiter, the, about the best you want to do is about uh, maybe 4 dB of limiting, maybe 3, 4 dB of instantaneous uh, attack release uh, uh, limiting. And that uh, uh, Icom 7300 uh, and the uh, 7610, I'm hoping to get uh, somebody with a 7610 this afternoon. I would really want to check out some uh, theory on that, that radio. I mean, it's good for, uh, I believe, a dB and a half dynamic range, which is the average peak modulation would be somewhere around uh, uh, 90%. But anyway, uh, let's see, uh, Mike, uh, uh, or, uh, let's see, uh, the last station, come back, and uh, we'll see how you're doing. Yeah, Roger, I have it on wide now. Is it, uh, what's it sound like to you? Much better, much better. You, there's no reason for you to be in any other mode but wide. Uh, w when you're CQDXing or contesting, if you close down your your wideness, you're, you're uh, losing that top-end articulation in your audio. So what you want what you want is a maximum readability and that will occur in the widest operation uh, of the radio Roger Roger that I appreciate it um, is my mic game is it fit to be loud and clear is it loud and clear well, again, uh, look at your, next time you come back, put your hand on your mic gain control and uh, look at your ALC and you want to adjust that, speaking naturally, normally, uh, you want to adjust that for 50% 50, uh, 50 to two-thirds percent uh, deflection on the uh, ALC meter. Yeah, Roger that. I'm still at max scale. I'm going to turn it, keep on turning it down. It's still rolling out to a nine. Uh, that's 10% mic gain there, still giving me a 7 on my meter. Roger, and you're running your compressor at a 3? Roger that. Roger that. Uh, and uh, so tell me about your antenna, let me listen to you. Uh, it's just a G5 RV, uh, polarized north-south. Uh, I say north-south, I've never put compass on it, but it's only about 30 feet in the air. Roger. So you're, it's running east and west, and you're radiating north and south. Is that what you're saying? Roger. Roger. That's probably just about right. I found that to be true. The only time it gets really complicated is when you're running an L, because an L uh, t tends to uh, focus uh, like a funnel, and uh, I have found that uh, it uh, is somewhat uh, even more directional than uh, if it's uh, spread out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I found also that if you make it not quite an inverted D, but a, a little less of a invert, you know, if you stretch them out like a T, it, it tends to work a little better. That's what I found here, but my yard is bowl-shaped on both sides of my antenna. Uh, my antenna sits on top of a hill, but I've got a bowl on each side in my yard the way it's shaped. It kind of acts like a collector. It works really neat. Uh, Roger that. Well, there's all kinds of things that uh, affect the radiation pattern. Uh, I am running uh, uh, my uh, inverted V for this band uh, at about the 35-foot level off a tower. And so both of the legs of the inverted V uh, go to the north of the tower. And the, so the tower is acting as uh, somewhat of a reflector in that it's, uh, I think, forcing the signal more uh, north nor uh, well probably at an angle kind of north uh uh, east, uh, I would think, uh, in that in that area, I, and that's theoretical. But uh, you know, when you have a, a large uh, mass of metal in back of the signal that you're, uh, you know, you, that you're radiating, it's a it's a you know pretty reasonably to assume that it's be going uh, bouncing off that tower and, and going the other way. Roger that. Um, yeah, I'm a, I plan on building me a beverage antenna out here one day. I've got about five acres. 
Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, I got the wire to do it. I just got to get up there and get it done. You know what I mean? Uh, Roger that. Now, uh, did you find your tone control? It's in uh, syst uh, system, uh, our menu system tone. I have not found it yet. Let me, give me just a second. I can hit menu. I just don't see, I don't see it yet. Tone control. What does that do? Tell me. That is uh, equalization. <laughs> I don't know why they called it tone. Equalization is what it is. Mic equalization, Roger. Roger that. Uh, what do I do when I find it? Well, uh, hopefully you'll find it pretty quick. Like I say, it should be in uh, uh, syst uh, menu, system, and uh, tone. And um, uh, you would, you know, tell me what, what it is. It's a two-band EQ, top and bottom. And uh, so uh, you normally it's, uh, you know, uh, mid in the midpoint, it's neither cut nor boost. Uh, so uh, you'll be uh, telling me it's, uh, uh, you know, if it's on the high side of, of a number, it'll be a plus three or something like that, and a minus two if it's on the other side. Roger? Yeah, Roger. I'm still looking for it. Oh. I'm sure I'll find it. It's just a matter of doing it. Uh, Roger. Okay. Uh, well, let me just give you a note there on that when you find it. Uh, when you get to a tone, take a look at it, and you want to go three clicks, uh, top in three clicks hotter than where you are, plus three hotter than whatever reading that you are at the moment. Roger? Roger that. I'm going to take a standby, and uh, I'll be back here in just a minute. Let me see if I can find that. I'm having a little trouble. Uh, every time I key up, you know, it goes back to the scope. But I'll be back here shortly. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'll be uh, monitoring AK4FH. Okay, what was the name? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Randall. What was yours, son? That's Jim, Juliet India Mike. Uh, it calls KC9VKV. We're located uh, near Louisville, Kentucky. Roger. Roger that. I'll be back in just a minute, bud. AK4FH. Roger, Roger. Uh, this is KC9VKV and the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio, we are recording live from now until 5, so give us a shout. KC9VKV. West Hill, Hill, Hotel, Hotel. Hotel. Foxtrot Station, uh, come back with a call. Whiskey Alpha Zero, Bravo Oscar, Foxtrot. Roger, Roger. What's the name? Uh, the name is Tom Tango, Oscar Mike. And we're located in Steelville, Missouri, which is about 104 miles southwest of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, Roger. Roger, Tom. What radio are you running today? Oh, we're running an 897. Uh, got a uh, MFJ dipole hung off a tower up about 15 feet and uh, running it through an Amtron 8, 1182. Over. Roger, Tom. Uh, I see your dynamic range is probably like about 4 dB, 4.5 dB. If you wanted a little fatter signal, uh, you could go to your compressor and in, put your compressor in line and, and put it on about a 3. About a 3 on that compressor would start the fattening process uh, for your audio. Ideally, I think we're looking for about a 3 dB dynamic range, which uh, is about average of peak modulation of around 85%. Roger. Uh, Roger, I'm going to have to get my manual out and look that up uh, on the 897. What would that be on the menu? Uh, it would be compressor, uh, processor. <laughs> I'm not real real sure, but, uh, you know, it should be uh, in your book. The best thing to do, I would think, would be to make a shorthand cheat sheet. <laughs> you got to watch when you say that. A shorthand cheat sheet and uh, mark the critical ones like uh, equalization, uh, mic gain, uh, you know, and uh, your selection for bandwidth, uh, and uh, how to get to those, you know, so you have about uh, maybe 10 on a list of, of uh, items that uh, you need to get to, and uh, that makes it easier, you know, because you'll sh sh write uh, a little note about how to get to them, Roger. Roger, Jim, we appreciate that. Uh, we were just kind of looking at the menu here. And uh, uh, 
we've got a quite a quite a bit to go through, and I'd have to kind of get my eyes on it here, and I don't want to tie up the frequency, but we'll definitely look at that uh, compression and mic gain over. Oh, roger that, roger that. Well, uh, do you know how to get to your AOC? Uh, uh, yeah, I do. I'm just going to have to get to my glasses to be able to read this manual. I'm a little blind over yeah, well, join the club. <laughs> I, I'm I'm looking for fives right now, Roger. Uh, right, Roger, Roger. I understand completely. Uh, uh, it's, it's, if we're if we're doing okay here, we're going to get clear and uh, let you get about your business. Uh, like I said, we've got a um, MFDA cut for this frequency up about 15 feet off of our 50 foot. Uh, Tribander Tower, and uh, if we work you know, generally work um, maritime mobile service on 20 meters, and we kind of use re we relay for them a lot up here in the uh, in the Midwest. So um, 40 meters is kind of a sideline for us. We just got it up to just their ear of recent, and uh, have been having some fun working with it. But we'll definitely check the compression out on this thing and make sure that we're set for where you, you say we're supposed to. And uh, we appreciate your feedback. Over. Uh, Roger, Tom. Uh, yeah, we I, we could uh, make that uh, audio uh, a lot fatter at, uh, r right now. Well, you know the thing is uh, unprocessed audio, uh, average peak modulation of unprocessed audio is somewhere around 30 percent. So uh, what we want to get that uh, audio up to about 85 percent and uh, it's just a, a matter of doing a, a, a plethora of things like four or five things that uh, will take your audio to uh, you know a much uh, much fatter signal so give me a shout uh, when you uh, uh, check out your book you want to know where your your ALC meter how to get to that how to get to your uh, compressor how to get to your uh, equalizer or tone controls for your microphone uh, and uh, your mic gain so when you have those uh, in hand uh, give me a shout back Roger Roger yeah Roger Roger Jim okay mama just brought me glasses uh, I've got a book here wide open. Let me see if I can get, uh, let me see, uh, you were talking about tone control and mic gain. Okay, mic gain, single side band, mic gain, my level of zero is 50, stand by. This is KC9VKV, the uh, QSO VLOG network from now until 5, and uh, we are recording, so uh, oh, we're talking with Tom right now. He's uh, trying to track down some items in his radio that uh, will help him uh, get a fatter signal. Back to you, Tom. Yeah, uh, we're set on uh, our mic gain, and we've got on this 897 and on off. That's our, uh, let's see. Uh, my gain uh, zero to one hundred, and we're set at fifty. Uh, we had a zero to one hundred range on fifty one on that. Is uh, where, where we at? Where we at on my gain? Well, it, it just depends on your ALC. What you need to do is bring your ALC meter up so you can see your ALC uh, and then uh, see, uh, you know, speak into your microphone uh, like normal in the transmit mode and uh, see where your ALC meter reads and then adjust your mic gain until you're reading a, a mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter and that's controlled by the mic gain. Roger. Okay, let me take a look see here. Uh, we'll just crank this up from there and uh, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, we'll pump it up here to 85. How does that make a difference? Well, are you looking at your ALC meter? Uh, I'm look, yeah, I'm looking at my ALC meter that comes across my my power meter on the on the uh, 897. Exactly. So uh, at that uh, where you have that mic set now, uh, that meter should be reading mid scale to two thirds. It should not be in the red, but it should be headed towards the red at the two thirds uh, uh, scale reading. Roger. Okay, I'm at 86. 
That's a that's a hundred percent my game. How's that sound? Well, again, uh, <laughs> I want you to tell me what your meter's reading. That's the important thing. Your AOC, your AOC meter is uh, your friend. It will tell you better than a, a buddy down the street exactly what what your mic level is doing as far as what the radio's looking for. So uh, when that when you get your mic gain adjusted uh, to where when you look at the AOC, it's running mid scale to two thirds. That will be the correct level. It's not uh, 95, 50. 100 it's it's wherever that mic gain needs to be to make that meter read mid scale to two-thirds roger okay i understand you're talking with a dummy here let me let me see if i can bring well the only way that i can bring it up to full scale is leaving it at a hundred i can't get a i can't get this microphone to modulate more than about 25 to 50 percent on the ALC meter over. Oh, Roger. Well, see, uh, uh, that's why you probably want to put your compressor, you want to put your compressor in line and run that at a three. A compressor on and running a three on your compressor, Roger. Okay, Roger that. I'm going to have to find compressor on here and see what Stand by, Jim. Roger, if you wanted to take a quick notes, uh, that might be the best way to do it. Uh, when you find your right to compressor, and when you find your compressor, put it on and at a 3. If it's a 3 out of 10, that's what you're looking for on the compressor. Roger? Hey, Jim, this is Randall with the NHK 4FH. I found the tone control. Mike Gain, two-thirds. Two -thirds. Roger, Stemma. That's correct. I'm sorry, uh, try one more time, repeat last. On, on my gain, uh, you were talking about the levels on my gain on the ALC, and I'm getting about 50% on, uh, on my modulation at 87 set with the uh, mic gain, which is really high. Uh, that's Roger, don't worry about that. Now, what you like to say? Uh, take a note on your compressor. We got to get that compressor on and at a three out of ten uh, before you can really do a critical adjustments on your ALC. First thing is to get that uh, that uh, compressor in line and running about a three on the uh, compressor. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. QSL. Uh, we'll be looking for that. I'm, look, I'm looking on my. I've got 90. Oh, Roger, I know what it is. <laughs> so, But when you do find them, uh, make a note of where they are and how to get to them. That'll save you a lot of time uh, later on when you, when you go back. Because you should be very familiar with some of those basic controls. Uh, it's like an antenna. The easier you can get to an antenna, uh, the better uh, it's going to work because you're going to visit it uh, more than once. And so uh, you'll be making adjustments. <laughs> and that's the same thing with your... Um, your controls, your mic gain, your EQ, your compression, uh, and your, the bandwidth. You want to be in the widest bandwidth possible. But all those things uh, are very important, and the easier, you know, when you make that checklist and how to get there, uh, that'll be in, in good shape. So, uh, uh, Tom, I'll let you go for right now and let you uh, get going on that list and how to get to them, and then uh, give me a shout back, and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll work on it some more. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. QSL, thank you very much for the comeback and for the information. And like I said, I got 91 articles to go through here to figure out what, what, this, uh, uh, what you told me to do here. I'm looking for the compression right now. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll be on frequency. We'll see if we can figure this out. We'll come back to you. Let's get somebody else. 7-3, uh, my friend. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Roger, Tom, three's that way. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you uh, after you've found all that uh, stuff and <laughs> how to get to it. Uh, and uh, Randall, uh, you got a copy? Roger that, AK-4FH. I can't go out and clear. I turned up bass in trouble. I didn't know which one you want me to turn up. Uh, <laughs> well, I would start. Uh, what mic are you on? Uh, just a uh, hand mic. All right, I would start with the... Uh, the tone control, uh, high and low, in the mid position. Put those in the uh, in the mid range. Uh, uh, ne neither cut nor boost. It's, I think it would be zero, right in the middle there, on both of those. Roger, Roger. 
Roger that. That's zero on both. All right. Now, do you have your compressor in line? Uh, it's on a three. All right. It's in line and on a three. Roger. Roger. All right, I would take that uh, top end EQ tone control to about a plus three, about a plus three, and uh, let me listen to you. And now when you say top end, are you talking about, uh, what are you referring to? Uh, you have uh, two EQ controls. You have a top control and you have a bottom end control, Roger. Roger. Um, you ain't talking about bass and treble, are you? Yes, sir. Uh, treble is, is top. Treble is the top end, bass is the bottom end. Roger. Roger. Uh, you may have start with the top. At the top and go plus three, plus three. That'd be to your right, uh, plus three, or, or however you get there. But it is plus, uh, not to roll. Roger that. I'm on a plus three now. All right, uh, and your your compressor's on a inline and on a three. Roger. Roger that. All right, and you're looking at your ALC. Roger. Uh, I talked a little loud, but yeah, I'm about 7 out of 9. I didn't hear that last repeat. Roger that. I'm about 7 out of 9 on my LC. All right. Uh, with your hand on your mic gain, you want to adjust your ALC to where it's deflecting mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Uh, be as you transmit, as you transmit, you're uh, adjusting the mic gain as you speak into your microphone at a normal distance, normal tone, normal level. Roger, that's half and two thirds right there. On the AOC meter, Roger. Roger that. Alrighty, now tell me about your antenna system. Uh, it's a uh, G5 RV going east and west, uh, polarized north and south. Uh, how does my bottom end sound? Uh, what was that last? <laughs> how, does my, how does the bottom end of my tone uh, sound? Well, you're only about 3 dB of my, above my noise uh, level now. It, uh, you're falling back a little bit, but uh, I think it's sounding fine. I would just like to hear you just a little bit cleaner so I can tell precisely where that bottom end is. But, uh, you know, the thing is you're running the best mic that radio is uh, going to have for a long time. That is the, uh, the supplied uh, hand mic uh, for that uh, 7300 is an electret condenser microphone. And uh, the only thing you you need to do to that would be to drop by your local music store and get a windscreen to uh, put over that mic uh, just so uh, you don't have to worry about how you work it. Uh, normally without a windscreen you'd have to work it to the side of your face to the side of your mouth and not work directly into it but uh, across it. Roger. Roger that. I'm, a, I'm talking to basically in the top of it now. Uh, maybe I won't get so much uh, air blowing into it. Well, just pull it to your cheek and just just uh, talk across it as opposed to into it. Roger. Hey, Roger. How does that sound there? Uh, one, two, three. Oh. Sounds pretty good, sir. Sounds pretty good. I would put uh, just a little more top end uh, on that mic. I would go one more click on the uh, top end uh, uh, to now you're a plus four. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, that's one more. That's one more right there. All right. Uh, and uh, so I need, uh, if you give me about 20 seconds of uh, uh, something, uh, maybe uh, what you like best about your 7300, Roger. Roger. Well, the best thing I like about it is I can hear. I can finally hear. Uh, out of all the radios I've ever had, I had Kenwood, old Kenwood, that uh, pretty much obsolete and hard to find parts for now. Um, swapped it out. My wife was wondering whenever I was going to take his back to him, and unfortunately I told her, well, that one's mine. I gave him his back about two months ago. Roger. Just so she doesn't see the uh, uh, the invoice for that radio, Roger. Yeah, Roger. She asked me how much it was. I said, oh, it wasn't that bad. Under a thousand dollars, barely. 
<laughs> That's right. Uh, I am at a plus four on the top and a plus two on the bottom. I'll repeat that last. I'm at a plus four on the top and plus two on the bottom. All right. Uh, back off one on the bottom. I didn't realize you were you were plus on the bottom. Back off one. Just uh, leave it at one dB boost on the bottom. Roger that. It's a plus one now. Uh, my voice is a little deep right now too because I kind of got some sinus issues going on. But uh, I may uh, I may have to clean it up later. Oh, Roger, that sounds good there. I'd run it like that, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us uh, next uh, Friday, and uh, we'll uh, compare notes and uh, see what's been happening, Roger. Roger that, bud. I didn't even know you were on the street to see that off, and I sure will uh, try to get in here next Friday. Um, what time are you in here? Uh, we are Friday afternoons between 3.30 and 5. Friday afternoons between 3.30 and 5, Roger. Roger that. Well, I'm going to let some other people get some help, bud. I sure appreciate it. Uh, 53, and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend, or a good start of your weekend. And uh, we'll catch you next Friday. Alpha Kilo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Okay, and that's Foxtrot Hotel, the Alpha Kilo 4 Foxtrot Hotel? Roger, Roger. Okay, you kind of you were kind of throwing your your hotel away. So uh, when you speak your call sign, uh, each each <laughs> letter is important, right? Roger that. That, and I think I lost my voice for a second there. I, I've had uh, laryngitis for about a week. Roger, a lot of it going around. A lot of it going around. Thank God we're headed towards a good part of the season there. Come on, son. We got work to do out there. We got antennas to make and trim and all kinds of things. So we'll say threes for now, uh, uh, Randall, and uh, you have a good afternoon. You too, bud. Alpha Kilo 4, Fox Drive Hotel. And this is KC9 VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog uh, Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, uh, give me a shout. Uh, this is KC9 VKV. Kilowatt Golf 4 Echo. Uh, golf uh, Kilowatt 4 something? Yeah, Kilowatt Golf 4 Echo. That's the one. What's the name? The name is Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Over. Uh, Roger, Walt. And uh, where about are you, sir? I'm in North Carolina, Graham, North Carolina. Ah, there's a radio station, WSLM, I believe. I think of her as a country station, I believe. Right. Uh, well, I, I uh, used to, uh, <laughs> many years ago, I uh, was a production director for a, uh, a group of stations, and that was one of their... Uh, one of their stations there is long since gone, and I'm not sure who owns it now, but Graham just rang a bell, Roger. That's it, WSML, Graham. Yes, sir. I know uh, Byron Tucker, who was a DJ there, and um, he's a highway patrolman. He did that part-time. But, yeah, uh, they, uh, they're now with WPCM. They merged with them. But anyway, uh, I'm running a TS-590 Kenwood, and I have a... Um, Electro Voice RE27 microphone. I'm just wondering how it sounds. Over. Sounds good. Uh, check your clarifier to be sure you're zero 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 on the clarifier. It just sounds slightly. Uh, well, anyway, uh, check that uh, clarifier. All right. Where would I find that? It would be uh, on your radio. A knob uh, called uh, clarifier. And uh, it would be up uh, probably across from your main VFO control. I don't see the clarifier. Um, let me see. Hold on just a second. It's not much. It would be less than a point oh one, some somewhere around there. Okay. Um, did that help any? Talk to me for a minute. All right, Walt KG4E, and uh, also I've got a um, bazooka antenna. It's up around 31 feet, and uh, the apex is 31 feet, and the ends are east and west, about 7 feet off the ground, over. Uh, roger that, roger that. And now uh, what radio is that? Kenwood, TS590FG. Uh, roger that. Uh, I would suggest uh, uh, that uh, you engage your compressor 
on at about a three, which is just a token amount, but it starts the uh, fattening process. Uh, compressor on at about a three. I think we've had a little condition reversal there, Walt. Uh, uh, <laughs> try again. Now uh, you're you're down about uh, 10 dB from your previous signal. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, oh, hold on just a second. Okay, I may be running. That. That's about 500 watts there. Uh, does that sound any better? I cannot find the compression on the TS59. It's pretty hard to do. I got the uh, mic gain and. And also, I've got the W2 uh, HY audio equalizer. I can move that a little bit, too. I may have too much trouble in it. Did that help? Uh, well, uh, I think where you were, uh, did you just make an adjustment? Yes, I did. Uh, let me hear you. Uh, T tell me uh, specifically about uh, that outboard uh, audio processor. Yes, um, W2 IHY audio equalizer, and it's got a noise gate on it. I got the noise gate on. Uh, looks like I'm putting out around 500 watts. I've got the bass turned all the way down and the treble up. But now when I go to my buttons on top, I can, uh, let's see, let's see, got HT, HB2, HB1. That may be a little bit too much trouble, too much trouble over. Well, you want to be in the widest possible band mode. You want to be in the widest possible band mode, uh, 100 to 2900, uh, 80 to uh, 3K, some, you know, the widest one you've got, uh, around 3K, Roger. All right, I'm at 10 all the way up to 3000. You want me to put it up to, okay, that's, that's 100 up to 3000. Is that better? Uh, yeah, I think so. In other words, there's no reason to compromise at a reduced bandwidth. I can't think of a reason in the world to run that radio at a reduced bandwidth. Uh, your, all of your uh, articulation and enunciation is uh, up in the top, uh, and that's affected. When you start uh, shaving off uh, the top end there, restricting the top end, you're restricting your intelligibility and articulation. So you want to run the widest band pass uh, possible, and um, I know some of them are <laughs> 20KC broadcast. We don't want to go that wide but we do want to go uh, up to 3K, you know, 100 to 3K, 80 to 3K, something like that. Okay, yeah. I, um, I, I heard you talking to the other gentleman, and my ALC also is about halfway, bouncing up to two-thirds, uh, halfway up to two-thirds. And, um, yeah, I um, appreciate this. I'm going to get the manual out, and I'll continue to listen. Very interesting. And uh, I love the ICOM 7300s. They sound good. Um, but the Kenwood I've had here does a pretty good job, too. Um, and also, what is your name? My name here is Jim, Julie at India Mike. Okay, Jim, thanks for acknowledging my station. I'll, I'll let you get to some others, uh, KG4E. All right, uh, just before you go, uh, uh, you might uh, bring uh, that bottom end up one click. Just one click, Roger. Okay, how is that? Talk to me for a second. All right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, the bottom end, that's at 200. Now let me talk, and I'm going to bring it down to 10. That's down to 10 on the low cut, over. What you're saying is that at, uh, at 10 cycles? Uh, I guess so, 10, it just shows 10 up to 3,000. That's the widest you can go, 10 to 3,000. Oh, oh, I see, on your band pass? Yeah, yeah. I would put that band pass you you know from like 80 to uh, 3k if you can if you can make those numbers uh, or 100 to 3k. All right, that's uh, 100 to 3k right there. I think you got it, sir. Sounds good. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna leave it setting right there. Uh, thanks for your service. Um, appreciate it. KG4E. Roger, Roger, Walt, uh, Three Set Way, sir, and if you get a chance, uh, check back in next Friday and we'll compare notes and see uh, how everything's been going. Uh, threes for now. Uh, this is a KC9VKV and the QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out the audio, give us a shout at KC9VKV. Uh, there was uh, quite a few stations. Uh, loudest one, try it again. 
Hotel, hotel. Uh, come back with a call sign again, please. Uh, Roger, Jim. Main is the Dave. Uh, Kilo Romeo 4, hotel, hotel. Uh, I've checked in before with you, but just wanted to get a uh, check on my levels that I've been uh, toying with and uh, wondered perhaps if you could tell me the dynamic range and uh, any suggestions you might have. Uh, I would start by rolling off about uh, three clicks on the bottom end. About three clicks uh, off of the uh, bottom end uh, EQ, EQ, Roger. Okay, Jim, I'm running a, an outboard EQ. I've got the ubiquitous 7300 that you love so much, which is a fantastic radio, I think. Uh, however, uh, I'm running that flat, and I've got an eight-band uh, outboard EQ. So I'm running uh, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 200 and 400 flat at this time. All right, I would roll out uh, below 100. I would roll out at uh, 100 cycles, Roger. Okay, you want me to, uh, to take the 100 down? Yeah, just uh, roll off after 100. Okay, Jim, I've uh, bumped uh, 50 and 100 hertz down to about minus, uh, minus 4 dB. Roger. Okay, that sounds good. Now, uh, I would crank in. Do you have any uh, top end uh, to go? Oh, uh, yeah. I got uh, more of uh, 1.6, 2.4, and 3.2. All right. Uh, you, you got a 2.6 and a 3.2? Uh, that, that is correct. Roger. Well, uh, even though you're not going to be there, theoretically, I would uh, take that. Uh, is that a parametric? Uh, it is, yes, sir. And uh, one thing is that I'm using an RE20 uh, mic, so that's really giving me a lot of natural bass, I think. Right. Well, let's uh, work on the top end for right now. Uh, I would take that parametric and run it about halfway between 2.6 and 3.2. I would put the parametric at that point, and then I would bring up the, uh, the push to about a three or four push from uh, over where you are now on your top EQ. Okay, Jim, uh, test one, two, uh, what you got now? Oh, I think we're getting there. Now, uh, do you have your, uh, your uh, compressor in line and running it at about a three? I do, Jim, I have the compressor at three, and of course the, the outboard unit uh, has a compressor as well. So what I'm doing is just checking to see, uh, running about five, uh, five to seven dB compression is what I think I'm doing. Uh, it looks to be about uh, two and a half to three dB dynamic range, uh, which is be your average peak modulation would be about 80, 80, 85 percent. So that sounds that sounds uh, real good. And you're again, you're in the widest mode possible. And I'm trying to think of anything else that you might want to do. Uh, take a look at your ALC as long as you're in the neighborhood with your hand on the mic gain control. And you want that ALC to, after we fiddled with EQ, you want to readjust or check that uh, ALC to be sure that you're mid-scale to two-thirds. Okay, Jim, I'm going to do that now. And uh, talking, uh, I tell you, man, this thing's, a, this thing's got a brick wall, I do believe. Uh, I'm uh, about uh, a little over two-thirds uh, scale there. Okay, I think maybe your front compressor is, uh, is uh, a little bit too high. Um, you're, not, you're not running your internal compressor, Roger, Roger? Uh, yeah, I am, because uh, if I did not cut it in, I was not getting any audio. Okay. I would uh, reduce the compression on your outboard uh, uh, unit, Roger. Okay, yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm, I'm down now about a click or so. How is this, Jim? You're running about uh, 2 dB dynamic range, which is uh, fat, but maybe just a, a tad uh, fat. It's almost threatening. <laughs> so maybe turn that outboard uh, compressor down just a little bit more. Okay, I'll stand by one second. Okay, Jim, i got to click down on that. Uh, KR4HH uh, testing, one, two. Roger, sounded good. I would go back on my top end EQ and uh, and uh, put more two more uh, uh, clicks uh, positive boost on your top end EQ. Okay, 
Okay, I bumped up the uh, 2.4 and the 3.2K, and I'm about uh, maxed out on those. Uh, Roger that. I think that's uh, that's sounding pretty good. What mic are you running? Uh, I've got an old RE20 that a friend uh, gave me at a real good price, so I just uh, thought I'd use it. I really do like this mic. Uh, Roger, yes, that's a nice uh, uh, condenser microphone there. Um, you're still pretty uh, fat. Um, <laughs> I usually, that's the opposite usually of, of what I'm uh, working for. But uh, again, just maybe uh, uh, if, you, like I say, if you're running the internal uh, uh, compressor at a three, uh, I would uh, pull back a little bit on the outboard uh, uh, compression, just to uh, click down more. Okay, uh, Jim, one more click down on the outboard uh, compressor. How is this? Ah, I think you're getting a little more motion into your modulation there. You know, the thing is, if you, if you really bring that dynamic range uh, down, what's happening is it, it's fattening. The, fir the less uh, dynamic range, the fatter your signal is, just because... Um, you know, uh, we're talking uh, the compression ratio, and we're also talking modulation percentages. And uh, what you want to do, the average peak modulation is the difference between the loudest part of your modulation and the least amount of your modulation. So when we're talking a 3 dB range, that's uh, that's pretty fat there. Uh, you could go to 2.5, and, and that would be, uh, you know, a little fatter. But then you start to, to sound like you're processed. And uh, what I'm looking for is a nice, loud signal, but uh, that it doesn't sound, uh, quote, processed, end quote. Roger? Yeah, I got you, Jim. Okay. Well, uh, that's a good bit of tweaking there. I sure do appreciate it. Uh, so I guess I'm, uh, uh, do I need the gr Gorilla Glue at this point or, or not? Oh, I, I think the tape would do for right now. I mean, we, you know, you can always uh, uh, <laughs> get to it. Once you super glue it, it's it's tough to, to ever move it, Roger. Okay, well, I'll just use scotch tape, not even the uh, duct tape at this point. How's that? Well, now, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much confidence you have in that. I, I would go with the Gorilla Tape myself. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try to find it. Thank you, Jim. You're always a big help. Uh, appreciate it so much, and have a great weekend, KR4HH. Uh, that was a KR4HH? Uh, Roger, Jim. Dave, KR4HH. Roger, sir. Three's that way. And if you get a chance, uh, check back in uh, next uh, Friday, and we'll uh, compare notes and see how everything's going. Three's for now. And have a great weekend. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, the QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio. We are recording now until 5, so uh, give me a shout. KC9 VKV. Yankee Tango Victor. Yankee Tango Victor. Go ahead. Do I sound like I'm sounding to reach the South Pacific on a weak signal? Oh yeah, you're you're terribly compressed. Uh, you know, I would. Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly where to start. Uh, I would. Uh, uh, what radio are you running? An old Icon 751. Okay. Uh, I would. Uh, you're running. You're running the compressor, Roger. Yeah, I got the compressor on. As long as they sound like I'm trying to reach the South Pacific in uh, in the bad conditions, that's the effect I'm looking for. I guess. You got it. I shut my uh, compressor off. Roger. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, we can do this thing with a little finesse, or we can use uh, a sledgehammer, you know. Uh, I, I prefer a little finesse, you know, uh, so uh, everybody can enjoy it. Uh, and I think um, sometimes you can get so, so fat that your intelligibility suffers. You, you need some dynamic range in order for it to be recognized as a human voice, you know. Uh, probably only half of that. I'm sorry, did I fade out? I don't like it. I thought I'm probably only half of that. Roger. Well, see, what's happening is that your compressor is actually being ripped up. And instead of that level staying staying fat, it's actually falling back because it's so overdriven. Now, uh, if you would, you know, we can work on it a little bit if you'd like and uh, get it to sounding really loud, but uh, also a, a nice audio, but uh, still pretty loud, Roger. Yeah, well, I don't have many adjustments on this thing, but I 
shut the compressor off. Uh, I'm about nine o'clock in the mic in. Yeah, I would. Do you know where your ALC is? Can you get your bring your ALC up? I have to go on the radio. Uh, Roger, yes. Uh, and you can read your ALC, Roger? Oh, yeah, I can read it. It's uh, uh, about halfway. Uh, what mic are you running? A stock mic. What is this? Yeah, this is a new radio to me. Uh, uh, HM12. Yeah, Roger. Now, uh, I would I would take another look at that ALC because you sound still ripped. Uh, you know, uh, if you're running a multimeter, it's showing a bunch of things. But you select your ALC. Do you have a? Uh, how do you select your ALC? A switch on it. Okay, and you've got your ALC switched on, and now look, because the ALC scale does not necessarily run the full left to right uh, of the meter. You will have a, a, a level for the ALC. It does not necessarily run between the hard left and the hard right as far as where it should be. Uh, usually about mid-scale uh, is the top end of the uh, ALC reading, Roger. of the marking that is marked ALC and is dark. Uh, Roger, just out of curiosity, uh, what is your mic level control sitting at? Uh, it's a, about the, I got two marks, about two marks down. Doesn't tell me anything. Uh, is it a knob that you could adjust? Yeah, I got a knob. Uh, I got, I got two more marks. This is, uh, the next market, that's all the way, probably too much. But uh, I was told that was the best with the compressor on. I don't know. Maybe may different on different bands. I know you look like the armchair copy. Uh, well, uh, I'm just thinking, um, usually, I mean, if it's a rotary knob, uh, ideally you want to be at about uh, 10 o'clock. Somewhere in that area. It all depends on the microphone, but uh, usually I start at about the 10 o'clock uh, level control position uh, for your mic gain. Roger? Well, you probably like it way down like that, about halfway where I'm not even moving the ALC. Uh, I would... I would uh, I would leave it right there for the moment, and I would engage the compressor at a 3 out of 10. Uh, put the compressor in line at about a 3 out of 10. I don't have any uh, adjustment on the compressor unless I open the radio. Uh, you don't have a compressor? Unless I open, I don't have control over it. I got on and off, that's off and that's on unless I open the radio. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I wouldn't want you to work too hard, sir. Uh, just, uh, do you know offhand where the, uh, what setting it is without opening it up? No, I could, I could probably look in the service manual. Well, no, I'm at the current setting of the uh, compressor. It could be anywhere from, uh, you know, uh, 1 to to 10 or, or 10 to 100. I, I don't I don't know. But anyway, uh, it's sounding good, sir. And uh, gosh, uh, I don't know uh, what, what to tell you. You know, uh, you could put the compressor on. We'll see what it sounds like. Put the compressor on. I'm not even getting a meter reading with the mic down as well. Around 10 or 15 on voice peaks. Roger, sir. Well, uh, gosh, uh, I think we got it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, sir. It just uh, it, you know, it sounds a little forced to me, but uh, it's a personal taste, Roger. Well, that's what it is. You know, I ran an old Yezu just uh, before. You said I sounded like I was uh, shouting for Japan or something, but uh, boy, I've had so many people stop it. Asked me what kind of radio I was running on that old FDDX 570. <laughs> they said the audio was so good, so I think everybody likes a different kind of audio.
Uh, roger that, roger that. And your dynamic range right now is uh, looks to be about uh, two and a half dB to three dB. So it's it's uh, it's fat. Uh, it sounds like it might be uh, up against the uh, ALC a little bit, but uh, you know, live a little. Well, I get turned down at like ten o'clock. Are you like the armchair cops? You like this thing from this is your style? Of this. No, negative, negative. I'm looking for about a 2.5 to 3 dB dynamic range modulation signal, which is average peak modulation uh, that equates to about 85% average peak modulation. Not just peak modulation, but average peak modulation. So, uh, you know, but I, I do want a little bit of dynamics in the audio. Otherwise, it just sounds like it's uh, Katie up against the wall, you know. So I'll say threes for now, and if you get a chance, uh, gosh, uh, maybe check back in next Friday, and we'll uh, uh, see what you've been up to. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, I usually said that I listen to myself on a remote receiver, uh, like uh, in Indianapolis, so I can hear myself. Roger that. This is about a 15-second delay. That works pretty good. You ever try that? Uh, I'm running uh, four SDRs right now, sir. I'm running a Rochester, Raleigh, uh, Milford, and uh, Arlington, Virginia, as far as uh, SDRs, and uh, my uh, local antenna. But you're doing you're doing best on my local antenna, Roger. Yeah, well, I'm in Southeast Alabama, so not too bad. Yeah, Roger that. Roger that. Well, let me say threes for now, sir, and uh, you have a real good weekend, Roger. Okay, you too, and uh, maybe I'll catch you on the net later on. Kilo YTV. Uh, come back with a uh, call one more time slowly, phonetically, please. Kilo India 4, Yankee Tango Victor. And uh, the name? This is Ed, Echo Delta. Roger, Ed. Okay, have a good uh, afternoon, Ed. Uh, threes to you, sir, and have a good weekend. It's KC9 VKV, and this is the QSO Vlog uh, uh, Audio uh, Network. Uh, we are recording between now and uh, 5. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio, uh, give me a shout. We're standing by. Risky. A uh, bunch of stations in there. Uh, one of them, the loudest one, cut off halfway through the call sign. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe didn't pay the electric bill. Try it again. KC9 VKV. Whiskey 4, Alpha Whiskey Golf. Alpha Whiskey Golf. That's the one that <laughs> lost the audio in the middle. Uh, hey, Jim. It's been since uh, February 24th, 2017. Uh, this is MJ. Whiskey 4, Alpha Whiskey Golf, and uh, talking to you out of Macon, Georgia. Oh, sounding really good. What radio are you running? Uh, 3,000 yeas. Okay, you're kind of uh, cutting off on your uh, key at the end there pretty quick. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Uh, it's my foot switch uh, is messing up. Uh, should have good copy on me now. Oh, Roger, you do you use your big toe to do that? Yeah, my toe and my cro and my my Crocs. Well, one of them's got a problem because <laughs> you were busted up that last time. Move it closer to you, or or, or uh, get a longer leg or something. Okay, uh, that should be a lot better. I got a better control of it now. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you do, sir. And uh, so, uh, gosh, uh, what mic are you running there? And, uh, one of them's not quite making it. I'm sorry, we doubled. Uh, what mic are you running now? Uh, running the uh, RE27. Ah, uh, roger that. Uh, gosh, uh, uh, you could uh, get a little more EQ on the top end on it. It might sound a little bit better. Uh, what's your uh, EQ setting now? Uh, the uh, settings are all in the in the radio menu. Uh, I can. Uh, what uh, What do you think I need? A little more mic gain. Uh, I would go with EQ first. I would I would put uh, three clicks top end boost on it at first. Okay, how's that? Does that do anything for it? 
Yeah, it sounded better. Tell me about your antenna system. Yeah, I'm running an uh, off-center fed dipole uh, of about 35 feet. Uh, it's a uh, Buckmaster off-center fed dipole. It's been up for a long time. Uh, roger that. Uh, now, um, uh, can you bring your ALC meter up real quick? Yeah, ALC is, uh, is pumping up. Uh, my, uh, my gain is about 21 setting. All right, uh, don't worry about the mic gain setting. Uh, just uh, look at your your ALC, and you want to run, the, run that ALC at mid-scale to two-thirds. Don't, you know, that you just use that mic gain to, to turn it to where the ALC is reading mid-scale to two-thirds. Yeah, okay, it's, uh, I'm going to turn it down and turn it down a little bit more. How about right there? How does that sound? All right, now you need your compressor in at about a three. Your compressor in at about a three. This is KC9VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. Uh, right now we're working with W4AWG, and uh, after that, uh, you give me a shout and we'll work on yours. Uh, KC9 VKV. Uh, Jim, you know, the, my processor is turned on now. Uh, I'm not sure what the setting is on it. There's a bunch of settings in the uh, EQ in that. All right, the uh, main thing is uh, that you're in your widest mode possible. You want to be in the widest uh, mode, operation uh, bandpass mode possible. Roger. Yeah, I'm running, I think, 2,900 on the top side. Yeah, Roger that. And uh, uh, talk to me for just a minute about your radio there, something uh, that you like about it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, using the FTDX3000. Uh, yeah, I really like the radio. I've been off the air for about a year, though. So, knocking the dust out of it. Uh, still got some, uh, you know, refresher. I'm running a... Uh, Got a uh, IC9100, got another Yezu 991A, and uh, running uh, running through a uh, AL80B amplifier. Roger, Roger, and uh, what you getting out of the amp? Say that again? How much are you getting out of your amplifier? About uh, around 900 watts, probably. Roger that. Roger that. Well, I think it's sounding pretty good. Uh, your dynamic range uh, seems to be about uh, about 2 dB or 3 dB, somewhere in there. Yeah, you recorded me uh, back in, uh, you put it on uh, YouTube uh, February 24th, 2017. You said I sounded pretty good then, so maybe I got a few settings off now. I've got an I plus, uh, so I use the uh, RE27 through the ICOM and the uh, Yezu simultaneously, or with a you throw of a switch. And I'm running another uh, power amplifier through the ICOM. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd say hello, and uh, you're sounding real good and clear. I don't know if I'm on your local antenna or one of the SDR antennas, but. Uh, you sound real good today, too. Uh, thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, you're coming through my uh, local antenna. And I have found, uh, for whatever reason, and I'm not sure why, but the um, incoming SDRs uh, do not have uh, very flat frequency response in the bottom end. And I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, they should uh, be uh, fairly linear down to uh, 50 cycles, I would think. I mean, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know why, but uh, they they seem to be a lot lighter on the bottom end than uh, my uh, uh, radio. Uh, well, I run a, a Yezu 990, uh, which is about a 30-year-old radio, but it has been uh, fairly uh, uh, modified top and bottom, uh, incoming and outgoing. And uh, the last was, uh, 
where you take a spectrum analyzer and you put it on the audio output and uh, what you want to see uh, without any other signals just the bandpass you want to see uh, uh, flat across the uh, the analyzer from uh, the, the very bottom end um, like uh, 50 cycles uh, up on to uh, 6k or something like that because the bandpass you know can be fairly broad whereas uh, uh, the restriction comes in the uh, transmitters that uh, are uh, coming in Roger yeah Roger that uh, yeah, I was looking through my notes here on uh how to set how to change I gotta change my power it's either you on setting the power or you can set the processor level and uh, I don't know if I'll mess with uh, going to the menu right now but uh, yeah you're uh, you're uh, still running that 990 that's a, that's a great radio I used to have one of those uh, was probably uh, at least uh, 15 years ago one of the many uh, Many radios that I've gone through. I think I'm sticking with what I got right now. I got a bunch of, uh, you know, playing now with my 991A. I'm I'm working using it down in the workshop, and I hadn't got the HF antenna switching set up on it. I'm going to use the same antenna. I have to switch it through the uh, Alpha Delta switch up here in the main ham shack. So the antenna comes in through the window and then goes through the Alpha Delta and then back out through the window and down into the workshop in the garage. Uh, Roger that. Well, you need a map <laughs> or uh, a cast of characters, uh, whatever they call that, uh, so you know who's where, who's on first, and that's a routine there. But uh, listen, you're sounding great. I would uh, get the uh, the tape out and tape everything down, Roger. And and when you listen, uh, I think you'll agree. You're you're absolutely perfect right now. Just don't change a thing. Let it let it happen, Captain. Okay, that's uh, that's what I was in the Air Force. Uh, yeah, okay, Jim. Maybe you put me on the uh, YouTube channel, and uh, really nice talking to you. You're doing a real good, fine job for a lot of amateur radio operators out there. So I uh, hope you keep up the good work, and I hope your health is good. I'll let you go on to the next guy. 73, good talking to you, buddy. W4AWG in Macon, Georgia. I'm clear. Roger, Roger. And what's the name there, please? And was MJ, MJ. MJ in Macon, Georgia, Roger. Roger. All right, sir, three's that way, and you have a real good afternoon and a great weekend. And uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, check in next Friday, and we'll uh, compare notes. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, and we're rapidly approaching turning into a pumpkin at 5. So if you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, give me a shout, KC9 VKV. This is November 0, Juliet, Sierra Delta, checking in. Somebody uh, said check in. November 0, Juliet, Sierra Delta, in Loudoun County, Virginia. Station in Virginia, give me your name, please. The name is John, and the call sign is November 0, Juliet, Sierra Delta. How copy? Uh, John, uh, I've got you, and uh, what radio are you running? I'm running an ICOM IC7300, over. Oh, boy, gosh. <laughs> How lucky you are. Yeah, I can agree, yeah. <laughs> yeah, considering I'm 14, so, um, yeah, I uh, did a lot of work to get this radio uh, for HF that is over. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. You you must have, because that's a beautiful radio, and, and there's nothing like starting at the top, Roger. Roger, Roger, you got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a great radio. Now, uh, uh, come back and tell me about your antenna system. Let me listen to it for a minute. Okay, so it is a MFJ D5RV. Um, it's a full-size D5RV. It is a 102 foot antenna at an uh, inverted V, over. Excellent, excellent. Now, do you know where your tone control is? Oh, I think so. Uh, let me go to my function menu. Uh, system, <coughs> excuse me, system menu tone. 
I'm sorry, menu system tone. Okay, so I am uh, gonna go to I'm on menu. Um, I have no um, system. I have set though. Is that where I should go? Uh, menu, uh, then system, and then tone. You're, you're on a 7300, so uh, menu, system, and then tone. And that will show you, uh, you have uh, two position EQ, a top uh, equalization and a bottom equalization. Roger. Okay, I have, I have the tone control, so I have a TX and RX, over. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat. I have a TX and RX. Uh, TX, TX. Cover that. Okay, what do you want me to do now? Okay, you're in tone control. Roger, roger. In tone control, the upper, top end, uh, you want to go about uh, three clicks boost. Three clicks boost on the top end, roger. Copy, how am I sounding? Uh, come back and talk to me for a minute. Okay, I uh, just turned up my bass uh, for my uh, transmission. How am I sounding? Uh, no, no, you don't want to turn up the bass. Now, I said the top. You want to take that bass to zero. Take that bass to uh, in the middle. It's where there doesn't uh, boost or cut. So you've got your bass right in the middle there, and you want to go to the top end, the, the top frequencies, and you want to boost that top frequency, uh, EQ, by about uh, three clicks to the right. Roger. Okay, I don't have a top frequency. I'll tell you what I have. I have TX Space, TX Travel, TDW Wide, TW Mid. I have TDW NAR. All right, so uh, while you're there, well, you want to run that radio in the widest possible uh, mode. So select Wide on, on that one selection, Roger. Roger, I'm here. All right, and that should make you in the uh, 100 to 2900 uh, mode, Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, then you have uh, top, you have, um, let's see, gosh, uh, your high frequency, top end, Roger, of your, e of your tone control. Uh, I have medium, so I'm 100 to 2900. Please want me to turn it up all the way. Uh, not the medium. You should just have a, a two-band EQ control for mic equalization, mic tone control. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, I have wide, so I'm on the wide control. I can go down there. So what do you want me to do on wide? Because I, I, uh, I really am not need the tone control over. Oh, I am needed to have control over. Roger. Well, you want to be on the widest mode possible, so I think you are that. But uh, you should have a, a tone equalization uh, uh, page or, or something where you, should, you have two controls, a bottom low frequency and a top high frequency uh, control. No, I do not. I, uh, I do not. Also, um, I was um, on 40 meters last night, and um, I was, uh, was like kind of an on everywhere, so I do not know how to do this. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm on single side band right now, and just so five menus can pop up. Um, I'm in this, uh, it has the AM, FM, uh, single side band. If I go back to uh, do you know what I want to do, over? Uh, gosh, I thought if you went to menu, uh, system, and tone, uh, I thought you would be there. You would you would be up with uh, two controls on, on your mic equalization, which would be a top end high frequency control and a bottom end low frequency control. And uh, then, uh, you know, we would make adjustments to those two things. But uh, read your options. Read me your options. Okay, um, let me get back in the menu. 
and and just read them three at a time, three at a time, and take a break, and then three more at a time, and take a break, so I can I can uh, get in there if, if any of those are, are what we're looking for. Hang on. So I'm in system function. Okay. I have my not switch single side band. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go to tone control. RX. PX. Okay, tone control. That's what we're looking for. Tone control. Roger. AF. Hello, hello. Tone control. Tone control. You passed it. Tone control. I know that's what I was in over. All right, go to that again, and we'll we'll take another look at it. Go to tone control, and that should open up uh, what? It, it opens up two. It opens up two um two uh things. RX and TX. All right, uh, and then if you hit a TX, what does that do? It brings me to two options: single sideband, AM, or FM. Single sideband, and what does that bring up? Single sideband, and what does that bring up? It brings up transmission base, transmission trouble, transmission CDW wide, right? Okay, uh, transmission, uh, what was that top, the top one, the first one? How copy? Well, yes, yeah, so what was the first one you mentioned? Uh, transmission base. All right, is, uh, is there one before that? No, that's the first one. The one after that is TX Trouble. Okay, uh, on that base one, you want to take that one down four clicks. Take that one, uh, roll that one out uh, four clicks to the left. Roger? Roger that, how it's sounding. All right, then I want you to go to down to the treble, and I want you to bring that up uh, three clicks. Boost treble three clicks up. Roger? Okay, how's my sounding? Oh, gosh, I can understand you now. There we go. Yeah, see what happened, uh, that uh, bottom end was really muddy. So muddy that uh, it was hard to understand what you were saying, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm a 14-year-old, so... Um, okay, um, I hope my high-pitched voice is still on the air, Roger. I think you got got it going on now. Do you, uh, you know, if you uh, were to tap on your meter and put it in the ALC mode, do you know how to do that? I think so. Uh, I've got a function, and I have. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can't find my ALC. Stand by. Yeah, you should just be able to touch your meter uh, a couple of times, and it will cycle around to ALC, I believe. Okay, I got my ALC. All right. Now, uh, do you know where your? I guess you. Well, tell me what when you talk. Uh, you look at your ALC meter, and it should be reading mid scale to two thirds. Your ALC meter should be reading mid scale to two thirds. Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm actually almost full on my ALC. Roger. Now, if you knew where your mic gain control is, you might back that down just a tad. Do you know how to get to mic gain? I'm on 40%. How much on it? All right. What was it before? 49%. I would take it to 45%. Call it even. Okay. How now? Yeah. Uh, and talk to me just for a minute. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. November zero, Juliet Superdome. I think you got it there. Now, what is the name? What's your name? Name here is John, Juliet Oscar Hotel, November, over. And what was your call sign again? November zero, Juliet Sierra Delta. Ah, uh, Roger. Well, John, I think we are doing real well. I think we've got you covered right now. If you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next Friday uh, between uh, 3.30 and 5, and we'll compare notes and uh, see what you've been up to and who you've been talking to and what they've been saying about your audio. Yeah, I can't wait to see what people say about my audio. Uh, I'm about to get on uh, Facebook Live, and I'm going to be talking to some of the people that I've been talking to. 
you come stay on 40 until uh, I can get some stuff figured out. Also, please uh, put me on floor Is that your call sign? Uh, yes, the call here is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. The name is Jim, Juliet India Mike, and uh, we're located near Louisville, Kentucky, uh, actually just across the river in Indiana, uh, but I can see downtown Louisville. It's about three miles away. Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I, uh, I have some relatives in Indiana, so. That's nice that I can talk to some people from Indiana. And, uh, yeah, I just love uh, talking to people from all over. And, uh, you know, uh, I actually love talking to people from uh, states that my family's from. So thank you very much for helping me out in 73. This is November 2 uh, Juliet Sierra Delta. Roger, John. Threes to you, sir. And uh, we'll uh, check in uh, next uh, week. We'll be running Friday between uh, 3.30 and 5. So we'll say threes for now. And have a great uh, afternoon, evening, and a great weekend. We'll catch you later. And that will bring to a conclusion the uh, QSO Vlog Network for this Friday afternoon. Uh, we operate live from uh, 3.30 till 5. We're recording all the time. And John, I didn't mention it, but we are have been recording that. So if you want to hear what you sound like and what you sound like at the end, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor that will take you to our QSO Vlog page and on that page you'll be looking for a QSO, a QSO entitled My Group Air Check 42619. Again on uh, the QSO Vlog page it will be one entitled My Group Air Check 42619 and uh, we'll be able to post that in the next couple of days so if you check in, in a couple of days it should be there and it should be on page one but if it's not on page one uh, sometimes YouTube uh, puts it on page two so either page one or page two we do have uh, about 650 some odd QSO Vlogs at this point but uh, the one you're looking for entitled My Group Air Check 42619 will either be on page one or page two. So threes for now, everybody. We've enjoyed it uh, this Friday afternoon, and we'll catch you next Friday afternoon between 3.30 and 5. So uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, we'll be clear.